The city over a million dollars since 2011, and it's nowhere near completion. News 13's Larissa Scott tonight investigates why the city is spending so much money in this special report. After some outcry from the public about the hefty price tag on the Panama City Marina project and the lack of progress, the city is now working on trying to regulate those costs. As we entered the process, we, we had our ideas about how fast it should progress. Actually, it probably started um, when the mayor was first elected. Um, that was one of his platforms was looking to do something um, different with the marina that would be a, a, a starter project to boost downtown redevelopment. The Panama City Marina Project, something both the city and the public were very excited about when it first started about three years ago, but the city has paid almost $300,000 in consultant fees last year alone, and they haven't even broken ground yet. About five years ago, the state owned the city marina property, so the city began paying a developer $755,000 in 2011 for design plans of how to best utilize the space for public use. Once the city obtained ownership of the land, they worked on figuring out what could work for downtown redevelopment. As opposed to saying, well, we want uh, a development of A, we want a, an A type, a B type, a C type, a D type, and we want them here, 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 here. Um, the city took the kind of the opposite approach and said, private sector, you tell us what will work on this site and, and what are the things that you need to make it work on this site. Which is when the city started a public bid for a developer to work on the marina project. The city narrowed it down to two developers, Home Fed and Great South, at the end of 2014. Great South dropped out last May, leaving Home Fed as the last developer standing. Early on with the, the four or five uh, potential bidders that we had, offers that we had, um, they all expressed, uh, you know, strong interest. You know, uh, now that we're down to one um, offer that we're working with, um, everybody's a little more cautious. So I think that that's why it's taking the amount of time that it is. Since then, the city has hired multiple consultants to help Home Fed figure out what would be successful at the marina, totaling more than three hundred and twenty thousand dollars to date. For us, as far as what we can do and the expertise that we don't have and, and don't uh, possess here on staff uh, to be able to look at those individuals to come in on a temporary basis and help us out. They all have brought value to it, but as the, prog as the, the process has dragged on, um, you know, there's been some duplication of effort. There's been some, you know, kind of spinning our wheels a little bit, but I think the consultants are important. We just have to keep our eye on, on what we're spending and, and truly tasking them with things that we need to be to have done. Now that the consultants came back with tourism studies in December, the city is hoping things will move along much more quickly. We need to be cautious and careful about how we approach it, but we're ready to move forward. And I think the entire commission is, and the community is, is, is determined that something is going to happen and it's going to happen uh, soon. The city says the tourism studies are the key to getting the ball rolling. They say they're expecting the developer to come back with solid plans for the marina project in the coming weeks. This is a no, this is a no, this is a no motherfucking trainer. All you gotta do is put a grocery store down there. And that's going to track everybody down. Like rats and roaches. Before that, they used to have a bunch of buildings down there. The dumb motherfuckers, they plowed them all down and bulldozed them up. There used to be a, uh, a fighter jet down there. I'm sure a lot of people went down there just to look at that fighter jet. I think it was an F F-15 fighter jet. Now let's talk about consults. Consultant fee. That means it's a motherfucking con and they're insulting you. And all they'd have to do is fucking get some catalogs. They could take Google Earth and look at different fucking places. This is what I found a lot of times in fucking government. All they are is basically a bunch of fuck-offs they get great big fucking salaries. 
They get great big uh, uh, fucking, they can travel all over the place. They can go to fucking seminars all over. All they got to do is use a fucking excuse. They got something called per diem. That means, per diem means, boys and girls, they get their fucking food and they get to stay at a hotel. And all they got to do is just make an excuse up, oh, we're, we're going over to uh, another country to fucking study something. We're going to another part of the United States. And then what they can do is they can um, fuck the natives there, get them pregnant, get away. Nobody knows who the fuck they are. And they can do souvenir shopping. They're a bunch of motherfucking goddamn cons. And, uh... This this shows you right there. They're going to pay a consultant. They can't figure out the fucking shit themselves. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I wouldn't be fucking surprised if there wasn't a fucking kickback going on. Oh, yeah. You'll get this. Over a million dollars have already been fucking spent in five years. Fuck. They could, they could go to shit. Just like um, I've I've been trying my. It's like if you if you suggest something to government and you're an outsider, they'll fight you every fucking step of the way. As of January sixteenth, January no January twenty sixteen, they had this bullshit thing called move over law. For years. I'm talking about um, all the way back into the 80s. They've had these fucking boom cars all over the place. I wonder how many people have fucking died in crashes and everything like that. Ambulance and fire department people. They race up and down the road all the fucking time. Gee whiz, back in 1989, I went to the Capitol. 50 different places. There was a guy named Dan Burden that was um, head of a, a bicycle. He was a head a bicycle advocate. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked when I went in there with my flyer that I created that gave all kinds of ideas on ideas that would protect bicyclists, that would promote bicyclists, that would make it safer for bicyclists, that would make it that when a bicyclist is less likely when they come out of a business that their bike's going to be stolen, that they wouldn't be treated like shit like they are on the road nowadays. Back in 1980, motherfucking nine, I went to the Capitol. I went to different buildings on Appalachia Parkway, the Neil Kirkman building, which is the Florida Highway Safety I went to a Winewood Plaza, which is HRS. I went to the Alfred P. Murrow Building, which happens to be the uh, con Department of Consumer Services, on Appalachia Parkway. I went to the fucking governor. I thought if I had a good motherfucking idea, even if I was an outsider, they'd say they would embrace me. How was I thanked? I was fucking arrested while I was in fucking Tallahassee. And yet I had my bicycle parked at, at a bicycle shop on Yola Park in, in Tallahassee. So the truth of the matter, them motherfuckers will fight you every fucking step of the way. And, and they don't want you to have no goddamn proof of it. But I tell you what, I make sure to have my goddamn proof on me all the time. So, these boom car punk motherfuckers. I've tried my damnedest for years to, to try and, and plead for the lives of our ambulance and fire department people that are, that are I hear racing up and down the road on uh, 15th Street, uh, in, you know, going to the beach, that, uh, that I reasonably believe from um, Bullet Number 7 Community Ordered Service, Service Police Grants, Michael S. Scott has said right in this Federal United States Justice Money Laundering fucking department propaganda fucking fucking uh, bullet number seven. They said that that fucking drug dealers, one of the suspicious activities is for them to be going up and down the fucking road. I see the same motherfuckers. Yeah, 
I, I even had a fucking cop, an idiot motherfucker, Sergeant Stryker, fucking put false charges on me, man. I tried to get that motherfucker in court for six months. I had to go to court, and if I hadn't showed up for court one fucking time, I'd be in fucking jail. I'd never be able to, I'd have a failure to appear on my, on my record there. No, I made sure to appear every fucking time, but that goddamn piece of shit motherfucker didn't have to one time. So my experience is this, government fights you every fucking step of the way. So the, the felonies, no matter how many laws, I've called up the Big County Sheriff's Department. I've talked to uh, uh, Becky Johns, who's in records there. Um, Teresa England happens to be the secretary of the Big County Sheriff's Department. Uh, there's a guy named Garrett there. Um, I've, I've never been able to talk to Frank McKeith in five years. I don't know. He, he, sure, he sure wants to fucking duck me, man. Then on top of that... Um, Laura Olson happens to be the uh, the Panama City idiot fucking clown secretary for uh, Scott Urban, the fucking idiot clown who's the Panama City idiot fucking clown department. Oh, and um, uh, let's see. I've tried my damn this. I've, I've talked to dispatchers. It's like, no matter how many laws you look up, it ain't enough. If it didn't come from them, they, they'll fight you every step of the way. Some of the felonies, these goddamn boom car punks. Uh, eight or six ten is to put ambulance and fire department people in danger as a felony. Thirty fifteen, the Florida statute is duty of the sheriff's department. The rest of these motherfuckers. Nine thirty two, contraband. They can take away their fucking vehicles when they break into somebody's home with their free speakers. The concussion of their speakers. That's eight ten o two of the Florida statute. That's a fifteen year fucking prison sentence. When the fucking concussion of the speakers hurts your ears, that's 784 to Florida statute. That's a five-year prison sentence. Not only that, all public servants under 876 to Florida statutes, they support and defend the Florida Constitution, which Article 2, Section 7 of the Florida Constitution says unnecessary noise will not be tolerated. They can take away their fucking vehicles under 932 contraband. Government fights you every fucking step of the way. Hey, they could have they could have gone to a, a fucking high school and said, "Okay, we got a contest here. We got a five hundred dollar contest. Who can come up with the best fucking plan?" They could have gone to Gulf Coast Community College. They could have held a fucking contest. No, but they wanted to hire a fucking consultant because what I fucking believe is, and I have no proof of this. There was a fucking kickback going on. That's the why they paid him a million dollars. Maybe they got a hundred thousand out of it. But nobody's looking into that. So this is Jim Bike Man here. This is my two cents right here. Is of uh, February, February twenty fifth, twenty twenty sixteen.